so many of y'all like the video that I made earlier um, showing this little engine off. And today we're going to do a little experiment using some vegetable oil. We're gonna see how well this thing runs and uh, see if we can make it smell like a restaurant out here. I'm gonna start with uh, draining the existing fuel mixture that I have in here, which is about 25% diesel and a little bit of motor oil, just because I ran out of diesel. So I just mixed the some used motor oil. And uh, now while it isn't 100% motor oil, we can get to that later, but I've always wanted to see one of these little guys run off of vegetable oil. So we'll see where that brings us. Now, when I bought this engine, someone had put this uh, uh, fuel filter on backwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap it around real quick. As someone noted in the comments, With that taken care of, let's go ahead and uh, put some uh, vegetable oil in it. Now, there is going to be a little bit of uh, diesel and motor oil uh, residue, but it's not going to be enough to do anything. And obviously, we're going to still have some of the previous fuel mixture in the fuel, uh, the fuel injection um, tubing and in the injector and the pump. But all of that will clear up pretty quick when you start it up. So let's go ahead and... Put some uh, vegetable oil in it. We're not going to do too much. I want to do just enough to uh, do some testing with. Make it easier to drain it in the future. Starting to fill up. That's good. Let's do a little bit more. That should be good. As much as it makes it easier to hold the decompression lever down and, and try to start it by hand, it's a pain in the tail to hold it down on the test station, especially since I don't have it bolted down yet. But I've got an idea using an old pressure washer uh, frame to mount it to it for testing purposes. But anyways, what I did with, was to make it easier uh, was I took the pull start off so that way I can hold it down and use my electric drill to spin it up. And as it's spinning, I let go of the lever and you'll see how I start it in a minute. Compression lever down a little bit. We'll get it spinning. So get that fuel up in there in the uh, injector. Okay, check everything, make sure we got fuel. Yep, so you'll see right here, there's a little bit of fuel, old uh, mixed fuel, but like I said, it's mostly vegetable oil right now. And uh, let's take this outside and test it.
I left a little bit of fuel in the uh, filter there so I didn't have to prime it again. Uh, it's pretty warm to the touch, but it's not piping hot like a gasser would be. Uh, but it ran great. It uh, only chewed black smoke when I uh, gave it a lot of throttle when it was on a low RPM. But other than that, it actually had a very clean burn, as you could see in the video. You couldn't see any smoke at idle. Um, the exhaust isn't even really that hot. Yeah, I can just grab it there. But if you want to see some more content like this, or if you have any ideas of what to run next, um, this is what we ran today, obviously, Festival Oil. But I'm open to any suggestions. I'm glad to see what they'll do in this engine next. But if it's something that you want to tinker with, put it on a go-kart, put it on a water pump, put it on a pressure washer, you name it, this is the great engine to do it. You can run it off of anything, you'll save a lot of money on fuel. But the goal of this series is to see what kind of fuels it'll run off of and possibly even make a generator in the future that would run something small like the AC in your house off of basically free fuel. So if that's something that might interest y'all, just shoot me a comment in the sec uh, comment section below and uh, I'll get to it. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope all of y'all have a blessed day and I uh, look forward to making more videos.